Hi. Last week I wrote a blog post where I mentioned that uh, nowadays general purpose and uh, programmable editors make uh, more sense to me than super specialized IDEs. So I decided to create this video and share with you my development workflow so that uh, you can understand why. So when I'm working, my number one goal is to avoid using the browser as much as possible, mostly because uh, using the browser means that uh, I will somehow end up watching videos on YouTube. And since you are watching this, uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, you can relate. Anyway, uh, what I'm trying to do is to access as many services as possible directly from within my editor so that I won't have to leave the editor to go to the browser for the reasons that I just mentioned. So when I want to do things like uh, check out my email, I do that uh, from within my editor. The editor that I'll be using in this video is uh, Emacs, but this is not yet another Emacs fan video. YouTube is full of those. This is mostly uh, a video about my workflow. So uh, I pop to my editor and go to check all my unread email. I'm using a plugin which is called MU4E. And as you can see, I have a uh, a lot of hundreds of hundred messages which I'm not gonna go through right now but instead I'm going to use a filter that I've created so that I can uh, see the must read emails which uh, are usually the emails uh, that I have directly uh, sent to me and uh, I'm filtering emails from mailing lists and things like that which as you can see drastically uh, reduces the number so uh, I have uh, just one uh, mass read email which is sent by my work email address to my personal email address and it's about this demonstration. It's a reminder for myself uh, that I should not forget to check out the Jira issues that I scheduled for this demo. So I'm going to jump back and go to uh, my agenda. And uh, I have an item which is called um, Improved Packaging of Starters for Spring Cloud uh, Kubernetes. And uh, it originates from Jira, it's issue SB715. So let's uh, go to all my Jira issues. I'm gonna list the issues. Uh, this is a plugin that I'm using that uh, goes to Jira and pick up all issues that uh, are related to me, assigned to me, reported by me, and things like that. And uh, more specifically, I'm interested in SB715. This is the issue. And um, I'm going to visit uh, the comment section. And for example, the last comment is uh, a recap created by me. And it says that uh, I should merge the starter Kubernetes config into the Spring Cloud starter Kubernetes module. It's a trivial task that uh, I will perform in this video. So first I'm going to open uh, the project, Spring Cloud Kubernetes. And uh, I'm going to create a new branch from master, which is going to be called 715. Okay, the branch uh, is ready. And uh, I'm gonna jump to the config module. I'm gonna pick everything that the config module uh, defines. just includes uh, two dependencies, which I'm going to move to the starter Kubernetes module. To make sure that I correctly uh, yank the, these dependencies, I'm gonna verify by checking in my clipboard and everything seems fine. And uh, I'm gonna jump back and jump back and go to the Spring Cloud Kubernetes project, jump back to the dependencies and uh, paste everything I want here. 
just to make sure that I don't have any duplicates. Yes, I do have a core here and here. Let's drop this. And, um, yeah, let's go back. Okay, let's see if we have references to the config starter. And as you can see, I have a reference in my main POM, which defines a reference to the module. I'm gonna remove that. And the next is inside the dependency project. I'm gonna also remove that. Next stop is uh, the Kubernetes reload example, which uh, I won't remove, but uh, I'll replace the reference to the starter Kubernetes uh, project. And uh, I think, yeah, I should go to this project and uh, remove the reference. Okay, next thing is that I'm going to return to the reload example and I'm going to run it so that I make sure that uh, I didn't uh, break anything. Before I do that, uh, I will just want to make sure that uh, nothing is running. Okay, I have um, an old version of the project running. Let me, let me delete that. This is a, a plugin that I'm using that allows me to use and um, see things that are, are happening on Kubernetes or uh, OpenShift directly from uh, within my editor. Uh, it's a very handy plugin and uh, I really, really like that. And uh, next stop is to open the CLI and go to the Spring Cloud Kubernetes example and then find the reload example, uh, but wait. Let's open the readme to see how I can build that project. And the instructions is and the end clean install fabricate build fabricate deploy and blah blah blah. While the project is building, I'm gonna head back to my dashboard, to the Kubernetes dashboard, and uh, also keep uh, my cell below so that I can uh, see both things at the same time. The reload example is a, a simple uh, Spring Boot application that uh, uses Spring Cloud uh, Kubernetes configuration so that it can watch for changes in uh, configuration, config maps. And uh, when that configuration uh, changes, the application gets uh, reloaded so that it picks up a brand new configuration. It's really, really handy. Um, okay, uh, everything is ready. And uh, we can go back to the readme and to the dashboard. We now have a Spring Cloud uh, reloaded example. It's a deployment config uh, that has uh, one pod running at the moment. And uh, I can go and check the logs of this pod. And as you can see, I have a message repeating in the logs, which is change me to trigger a reload. I'll jump back to the readme to see how I can change that uh, configuration. and. Um, it seems that we have a configuration map inside the, the readme, which we can change. And uh, a very nice thing is that uh, I don't have to copy and paste and create resources and jump to CLIs and things like that. I can directly apply that resource to Kubernetes from within uh, the readme file. I just need to uh, use the buffer operation, replace do what I mean. And uh, by clicking the replace do what I mean, 
I triggered uh, a reload and as you can see the message now is hello world I'm very happy that uh, I didn't break anything I think that I'm ready now to commit those changes and um, create a pull request for those oh I think that I forgot to actually delete the actual module uh, that we merged into the Kubernetes starter and for that I'm going to jump back to my CLI and do a git rm from the correct directory okay yay it worked now so okay I'm going to use my git for creating the commit and uh, my github for creating the pull request but first I'm going to review the changes so I moved the module from the main pom I removed the reference from the dependencies pom I remove, replace the reference in the example and uh, I think that this is it refactor kubernetes I'm going to push uh, this change to my repository and now that everything is uh, created I'm going to create a pull request The remote repository is uh, this one, the branch is uh, 715 and uh, the target repository is uh, Spring Cloud Incubator to the master branch. Yes, this is what I want to do. This is the commit that I want it uh, to be merged and uh, I'm just going to submit the pull request as is. Yes, modifiers, administration are allowed to modify my pull request. And I'm done. So I'm going to jump back to my SB org project. And uh, I am going to progress this the issue because uh, I think that uh, this can be considered done. The action that I want uh, to do is to close the issue and uh, I don't have any more fields to set. And that is, that's it.